In this video, we're taking a look at the Raptors from the Jurassic Park Unmatched set. So the Raptors come from the first Jurassic Park set, um, which is labeled Engine versus Raptors. Engine being the uh, company that developed the Raptors and uh, Jurassic Park in the film. What we have here is something that is very different for um, Unmatched in that we have three heroes. We have three separate raptors here, which all have their own health wheel. They are shaped differently, so you can tell them apart. Um, you'll notice that the health wheel, since each of these raptors has their own separate health wheel, not only will it have the uh, little image of the raptor there on the side of it to help you keep track, but also um, the base has a uh, separate design on each of them. This one has the tire track on it, which is what you have there. This one has just kind of the general ground stone rocky area which is what we have on the base of this one and this one has the tiled floor um, which has the ladle on it which is um, supposed to um, represent the scene in the um, original film with the raptors uh, chasing the kids across the kitchen so together they can have a combined health of 21 and you have to um, defeat all three of them now something else to um, point out here opponents cards that have effects that affect a hero if those are played against you that is an effect that is made against all of the all three of the raptors so if it's something that lets you move their hero they get to move all three of them if it's something where they get to deal damage to the hero they deal damage to all three of the raptors that is one place where having multiple heroes is a disadvantage um, and unmatched whenever they come up with some new advantage for something to try to come up with a disadvantage um, to counter it the raptor's special ability is that raptors add one to the value of their attack cards for each of your other raptors adjacent to the defender if you have an opponent that goes into some particular spot and you're able to move all of your raptors around that other opponent there you get a plus two bonus on that attack for having the other raptors there so the raptors hunt best as a pack um, which is what you see in the films in the films the raptors are very intelligent they are not stupid um, they're very quick and agile, and they hunt as a pack. You also see, speaking of the quick and agile, that the raptors have a move of three, which is higher than typical characters. And most characters have a two. You have a few that have a three. And, of course, we're going to have a lot of little quotes from the original film in here. They're lethal at eight months, and I do mean lethal. First card we have is an attack of five eviscerate yep eviscerate is they just it's just an attack of five no extra bonus on it outside of the bonus that you would get from the other raptors there so potentially a seven so two of the eviscerate cards this is a four all of their cards are any because it's all three of the raptors there are no cards that are specific to any specific raptor pack hunters an attack of four if you won the combat deal one damage to the opposing fighter for each of your raptors adjacent to them so basically you could have um potentially an attack of six to start with and then an after combat of three if you had all the raptors adjacent clever girl yeah you knew this was going to be a, a name of a card this is an attack of three. After combat, if one or more of your raptors is adjacent to the opposing fighter, gain one action. Uh, so this gain one action lets you either attack a second time or maneuver away, both of which can be pretty useful. An attack of two, they remember and gain one action. 
kind of the same idea there. You don't get a lot of bonus on it. You'd want to play, there are four of these. You'd want to play these when there are other raptors around to bring that two up to something higher. But it does let you gain another action. So if nothing else, you can play these and just bleed your opponent out of defense cards. As you can see here, all of the um, artwork in here is generally the yellows and greens with uh, some of the black and white on it. The artwork is always really, really amazing for all of these decks. Ambush, an attack of two. Your opponent discards one random card at its boost value to this card's value. Disengage and attack a four. Move your raptor to any other space in her zone. And yes, you did hear that right. All of the dinosaurs at Jurassic Park are female. So when you start talking about how there is a lack of female fighters and unmatched with, you know, only Alice, Medusa, Little Red, Buffy, and Willow... Don't forget the raptors. Okay, now I want you to take a look at this here. You know how a typical deck generally looks. These are all attack cards for the raptors. This is everything else. I mean, there are more attack cards in the deck than anything else. It's not that there are more attack cards than any other type. There are just more attack cards, period. More than 50% of your cards are attack cards. Attack specific. We haven't even gotten into the versatiles yet. This is your first scheme card. Working things out. Move each of your raptors up to three spaces. You may move them through spaces containing opposing fighters. Gain one action. There are two of those. Coordinated attack plan. Choose one of your raptors. You may place each of your other raptors in any space in the chosen raptor's zone. So if you have this in your hand, this will let you very quickly move the other raptors into someone and surround them and get that extra bonus because that would be ideally what you would want to do this for is play this on the first turn and then play uh, an attack afterwards and get the boost. Because remember that that bonus for the other raptors, since that is an effect, a character effect here, and not a card effect, um, that cannot be canceled. And so now we are to defense cards and versatile cards. And when we take the scheme cards out of there, you can really see how very little of the deck is in fact a... Uh, anything that can be used defensively so that is something to think about with the raptors this is a defense of three decoy immediately choose one of your other undefeated raptors you may place her adjacent to the opposing fighter you've got four of these on um, the idea that i think this would be best for is if you could use this on your opponent's second turn you can end up dropping another raptor right there in your opponent's zone and then have both of them there for the attack. Um, by the way, the four um, decoy cards are the only just straight up defense cards in the deck for the raptors. Eaten Alive, a versatile card of four. After combat, if you won the combat, deal one damage to one adjacent posing fighter. These are always great to be used defensively because people don't expect to take damage when they are attacking. And finally, Faint. This is the card that nearly every character has in their deck. Immediately cancel all effects on your opponent's card. So after looking at the cards, what do you do with the Raptors? Well, with the Raptors, you have to balance being able to be close enough that you can get multiple raptors in an attack to really get um, the highest uh, bang for your buck with them. But you don't want to have them clustered together all the time because that makes them easy for someone to come in and attack all of them. And also that makes you vulnerable to effects that um, hit um, any opposing fighter um, adjacent to someone if they're all bunched around each other. The Raptors don't have a lot of defense. They've got very little defense in there. Even if you were to use all of the versatile cards defensively, they don't have a lot of defense. So you really need to run in there and hit 
early with the Raptors. You do not want to hang around through the game. If you go hanging around through the game longer, it's going to start going bad for you. Even with your move of three, you may want to consider using boosts on your maneuvers to be able to move, um, really jump up on someone quickly. There are some attack cards in here that would be ones that are good for um, boosting uh, maneuvers with, like Ambush, and it's attack of two with a three. Probably don't want to get into using a lot of your versatiles as boost because you just don't have a lot of attack or a lot of defense cards and you're going to want these for defense one tactic that people often use when coming up against the raptors would be to go after one particular raptor and try to knock that one down because as you start losing raptors your ability to maneuver around and trap people really goes down you kind of lose out on your um, special ability there as you lose other raptors and so that's something they will try to do. This is going to be especially true in multiplayer games. If you're in a multiplayer game against anyone that knows what they're doing, your opponents are probably going to coordinate and try to take the same Raptor out rather quickly and just get one of them off the board. You need to shuffle around to make sure that um, as one Raptor starts getting hit a lot, that that one kind of goes back out of the way and use some of the others so you don't completely lose that one and then just bring that one in as you need it. Um, so rotate them around and don't try not to let one get completely taken out because uh, that is what your opponents are going to try to do is just pick off one particular one. You'll also notice another downside to the Raptors is that the Raptors do not have any healing in their deck. The Raptors also do not have any card draw in their cards. The only way to get cards with the Raptors is to maneuver. And even though you have three separate heroes here, the rules are the same as um, your characters that have multiple sidekicks. You only get to draw one card for every maneuver. It doesn't matter if you're moving one of the Raptors or all three of them on the turn. It's just one card. So they're a little slow to draw cards. I will tell you, if you're playing with new people and doing a multiplayer game, someone is going to grab Raptors like every game. Um, Raptors and Bruce Lee, um, you can just expect someone to just run straight to them and grab them. People just want to play these things because they seem really cool. And they are cool and powerful, but they do have a lot of downsides to them. So that's something to think about as you play the Raptors. And so if you like this video, you can go to the comments and let me know anything that you think about my video or think about the Raptors, anything that you think that I left out about them. I've also got videos on some of the other unmatched characters, so you can go through and watch all those too.